Mighty Father, we worship and reference you for the grace you have given unto us to know you vividly, clearly, totally. Thank you for this early heaven reminder. Please let our heart be open to your word so that we do your will. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You are welcome to this, our early heaven reminder. Today will be very unique because we have been looking at the letter that Apostle John wrote and he actually manifested and showed what he has experienced. This is a practical thing about Jesus Christ. Let's see what how he started all in 4 John chapter 1 and verse 1. That which was from the beginning. Who is that? That is Jesus that came. Because the topic today is Jesus Christ that came. Now, that which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hand have handled the word of life. Can you see? Now, we are looking at the topic, Jesus Christ that came. And he's telling us there that it was in the beginning. So actually, for helping us to actually uh, establish the beginning. Establish John chapter 1. Establish Genesis and be telling us that in the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God. The Word was God. In Him was all things made. There was nothing made that was made without Him. In Him is life. The life actually is the light of men. The light that actually shineth in darkness and darkness could not comprehend it. In verse 12, now told that He came unto His own. It's not did not receive Him. As many that receive Him, He gave them power. That is the Jesus that came to become the Son of God. My actually, why we are looking at Jesus that come today is that we need you to understand he came to actually take us from the state of depravity, state of actually the, 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 the default in our life, the unrighteousness, the sin that we are actually we, we inherited to take it away. And look at uh, John the Baptist say something in John chapter 129. He said, When it's the next day, he saw him coming. He said, Behold, the Lamb of God. That take the sin of the world away. So we are looking at 1 John chapter 5 and verse, verse 6. Let's see together. This is it that came by water and blood. It's showing us that he came like we are. He said, even Christ, even Jesus Christ, specifically, the one that uh, um, Apostle John was telling us that we have we he was in the beginning. We saw him with our eyes, we heard him speaking, and we, we actually handled him the word of life. He said, not by water only, but by water and the blood to show that he actually came like us in our in our likeness, and it is the spirit that beareth witness. Hallelujah. So the Holy Spirit he promised us is a witness unto the word that Jesus Christ came. And that is why the Bible says this scriptures that is a witness is not just written by all people but only men speak as we move by the word of god so this holy spirit testify the word of god about jesus christ that it came to actually for us to actually have it as knowledge it was penned down and we are reading it and it's confirmed by the holy spirit he said and it it is the spirit that we are witness because the spirit is true because the witness of the holy spirit is true it doesn't lie and he will tell us the whole thing. So that is why we are confirming it. And look at that verse 6. So that is 4 John chapter 5, verse 6, which is our talk, which is our text today, main text. And the topic is Jesus Christ that came. He came for me and you. Let's look at it in three particular perspectives. One, Jesus Christ came in the likeness of sinful mankind. Number two, the justifier of Christian, crucified to, to the lifting of soul of man now the just number three now the just christ contain consist consists in the lovely spirit as mental now let's start from point number one jesus christ came in the likeness of sinful man or mankind let's look at it again in our text in that particular four john five six this is he that came by water and blood to show he came unto us, even Jesus Christ, not by water only, but by water and the blood. So Jesus came, Jesus Christ came in the likeness of sinful mankind. Let's see 
Read the word of God in Matthew. Open the Bible because we need to establish the, uh, the, the, the to be comfortable that He came and the Lord will help us in Jesus in Jesus' name. I read Matthew 1 23. And to know who evil came, we see. We need to establish it in the word of God because we have seen how uh, uh, the apostle told us specifically that Jesus Christ came and it was in the beginning and is the word, the word of life that actually we are actually that is able to save us and give us eternal life. Um, that is Matthew 1 23. Behold, a body shall, shall be with child, and it shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel. What's it? Say, being inter be interpreted is God with us. God came in the likeness of man, He came in form of man to show us the law. And the Bible told us why He even came. Why did He need to come? There's something that happened. The privilege of man. Romans, open the Bible with me. Let's see together and the Lord will help us and assist us in Jesus' name. Romans chapter 5, I want to read from verse 6. He said, For when we were yet without strength, with no energy, no vitality to help ourselves out of sin and righteousness, he said, In due time, Christ died for the ungodly. For scarcely for a righteous man we won't die. Yet, peradventure, for a good man, one would even dare die. But God, Commended his love towards us. In that while we are yet sinners, Christ died for us. He came, he died, he resurrected, and gave us the power to become his son. Let's go to point number two. The justifier of Christian crucified to the lifting of soul of men. He, was, he came and he want to justify us because there's only him we can be justified. Let's see the word of God. And uh, to the lifting of our soul, so that we will not be actually in that, we will not be in that particular state of no hope. Actually, down there, we came to lift us up. I pray in the name of Jesus. If you are still down there, down trodden, if you are still in sin and righteousness, do not recognize the power of uh, lifting up in Jesus Christ. The Bible, Jesus Christ is here today. Receive Him, and is willing, is ready uh, to receive what in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's read from Romans chapter three. 23, 24. As you are listening, you are yet to be saved. You are yet to accept Jesus, to receive the, recognize the, uh, the uh, uh, approved Savior of the world, Jesus Christ. The one that his father sent to die for sin of man. Opportunity. It's simple. He came and he said, come unto me. All ye that labor and believe, I give you a justifier. Now, let's look at John and um, Romans 3, verse 23 to 24. For all have sinned. Oh, no strength and come short of the glory of God, everybody. That is born by man. So you cannot be telling us you are born into the church. You are born in the hand of a pastor, a preacher, a shepherd. You are sprinkled with water. They put Bible on your head when you were born. They pray when you were to be born back. It doesn't make you born again. It doesn't make you to be justified. Look about that. Being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. You need to be to be justified through redemption. Redemption is actually being taken away from sin and having a life lifted off from sin to righteousness. Are you ready? God is able to help you. Let's go to point number three. That is the just Christ contained, consists in the lovely spirit as mental. Let's see the combination. The Actually, the collaboration. Let's see the collaboration. Let's see the, the, the togetherness, the, the, the correspondence in Jesus, Holy Spirit, and His Father. Because the Bible needs us to understand there are three that appear according to heaven. God, the Father, God, the Word, God, the Holy Spirit. And these three, they are one. And we are going to still read from our text again, so that we see the just Christ contained, consists in the lovely spirit as mental. is consists in him. is contained in him. It's, there's an insertion. There's an, a, a, a togetherness in the, in the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, which no man, no theologian, no prophet, no preacher, Nobody can separate that belongingness that they are one. You can't just say, I am my father, we are one. Nobody dare separate that one. For John chapter 5, I read 6 again. Our text said, This is it that came by water and blood. Even Jesus Christ, he came to represent the Lord, to be here to answer the call of actually salvation for mankind, not by water only, but by the word by water and blood. And it is the spirit that beareth witness. 
Because the spirit is truth. Do you want to accept this spirit of truth in Jesus Christ? He says something so that you know that the spirit of truth is coming and it's going to send it. But before that, well, before that time, he told us something in the book of John, chapter 14, verse 6, to assure us is the one that came, is the truth and life, the way. Nobody, nobody, look at it in John chapter 14. Are you opening? God bless you. This is the perfect love liberty that open our eyes, make the simple wise, and give the people that are ignorant to be to our eyes of understanding to be open. Look at it, John chapter 40, verse 6. Jesus said unto him, Look, look here, Thomas, and all the word that hear me, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comment unto the Father but by me. Now, Jesus that is contained the spirit of the truth, he told us something which is very very significant 15 chapter 14 chapter 15 that is john chapter 15 and the verse we look at it together as lord is helping us in jesus name because we are not going to do anything of our own and in our own understanding but in accordance with the spirit of god and i pray the lord will help us as we look at it together in the mighty name of jesus please bear in mind understand this that god is able and well able to help us to lead us now look at the word of god we are in john chapter 14 let's look at verse 16 and i will pray the father can you see the the compatibility the actually the uh, ability to pray and present the holy spirit unto us because it's considered the name he said and i will pray the father and he shall give you another comforter he that he may abide with you forever he said in verse, 4, verse 17, even the spirit of truth. You remember what we read in 4 John? Let me quickly go and read 4 John before we come back here. Put your hand in that place. Let's go back to, because we say Jesus Christ that came. And we are looking at the point, Jesus Christ contained, consists in the lovely spirit as mentor, the spirit of truth. 4 John 5, 6. This is he that came by water and blood. Even Jesus Christ, not by water only, but by not by water only, but by water and the blood. He came to actually as man to us, to mentor us, to lead us, to see that in whatever you are passing through, I pass through it and in the world. And I can actually help you because I know what you are passing through. He said, and it and and it is the spirit that beareth witness. Hallelujah. Because the spirit is truth. Now go back to John chapter 14, verse 17. Even the spirit of truth, because it's true, spirit of truth. Whom the word cannot receive, because he seeth him not, they can't see him. He came, they don't know him. He came on his own, they even reject him. As many as receive him, he gave them power to become the son of God. When you can't become the son, you are no more of the word. So you are translated and transformed, and you can receive the spirit of truth. He said, Whom the word cannot receive, because it seeth it not, neither knoweth him. But ye know him. Do you know him? If you, know Jesus, if you don't know Jesus Christ, you cannot actually understand the spirit of truth and you can't receive him. He said, for he dwelleth in you and he shall be in you. Are you ready totally to accept the spirit of truth, to dwell in you? And that is the one that this Jesus Christ that came promised us. Are you ready? Number one, you need the Jesus that came in your life because he's the only savior of soul. No other way, but the only way. No other truth, but the only truth. No other life but the eternal life in Jesus Christ. If you are ready to say, Jesus, I'm sorry. I didn't know it like this. Forgive me. I surrender to you. Take over my life. From today, I serve you forever. And the Lord of peace will give you peace. Now, if you are there, we are going to pray together. The Lord, the spirit of truth in Christ, the spirit of truth of Christ, the spirit of truth for Christ, that is sent as comforter, enter into my life so that we live a life. And it's good. For us to speak the spirit of life, because on Saturday, that is April 18, we are going out in the worldwide evangelism movement. We need the Holy Spirit to go out there and do it right and preach and bring souls to the kingdom of God. So we need to pray, Lord, Holy Spirit, come to me now. Holy Spirit, Lord Father, come into my life. Are you praying that Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, come down? Holy Spirit, Lord Father, the spirit of truth enter into me so that all I pass out, oh Lord, that I speak, as I move, as I give tracts, as I call people, as I send messages, it is being the spirit of truth. And the truth, love and that I know that made me free, we made other free. Holy Spirit, come down. Let us pray. Father, we thank you so much for your word. Jesus, you came. Jesus, you are the Lord. Jesus, you are the Holy Spirit. Jesus, you are the truth. Father, enter into us. Father, O oh Lord, endure us with power from above so that we can be able to be witnesses and be effective in the evangelism. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen.